Hey everyone, welcome back to my new Alight Motion tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to create this cool looking trippy text animation inside of Alight Motion. And this animation is inspired from dope motions. So let's start the video. Open Alight Motion, click on plus icon, and create a new element. I am calling it text comp, but you can call it anything. As always I am using 16 is to 9 ratio, resolution 1080p, and frame rate 30 fps. Then click on create element. First we will write our text, for that click on plus icon. Go to text option, and here write your text whatever you want. I am going to use this font for this animation, but you are free to use any font according to your choice. Also I will provide you the link in description, you can download this font if you want. Then we will increase the size to around 144 and change the text color to white. Click here to align text in center, then adjust the text. After that come back to main composition. Go to border and shadow. Here enable stroke option, and increase width value to around 7. Let's go to move and transform. From position, move this text little bit up, to make some space for second text. Now click on this layer icon, and make a duplicate layer. Select this duplicate layer, again go to move and transform, and from position move it down, so that we can see it. Then we will go to edit text option, and here write your second text. After that come back to main composition, go to move and transform, and adjust its position, to add some space between both text. Now close this text comp, click on plus icon, and create a new element. Let's call it text animation, then click on create element. Click on plus icon, then go to element. Click on view all, and import the text comp which we have created now. Let's go to move and transform. Go to scale, and decrease the text size. Then go to rotation, zoom in the timeline, and add keyframe at starting, and change the rotation value to minus 20. Let's go to around 1 second 10 frames. Add a keyframe, and here change the rotation value to plus 20. Then go to around 2 seconds 20 frames, add keyframe, and here again keep the rotation value to minus 20. Increase the layer duration, then go to around 4 seconds, add keyframe, and here keep the rotation value to plus 20. Now follow this same process, to make this animation as long you want. You have to keep 40 frames gap between every keyframes, but I will keep it till here. After that go to speed curve, and make the curve like this, to make this animation more smooth. Also, we will apply this same curve to all these keyframes. For that click on this three dots. Copy this curve, then again click on this three dots, and this time select paste curve to all keyframes. Now come back to main composition. Go to around 5 seconds 10 frames, and trim this extra part. Now click on this layer icon, and make a duplicate layer. Select this below text layer, go to effects, click on add effects, and search for invert. Apply standard settings. Then we will go to move and transform. Go to scale. And here increase the text size little bit. And we will get this cool look. Again make one more duplicate layer. Select below text layer, go to move and transform. Go to scale, and increase the text size. Now follow this same process and make more duplicate layers. I will fast forward this video, to save your time. Here I have make around 13 duplicate layers, but you are free to make any number of duplicate layers. Then select this second layer, and move it 3 frames forward. Now follow this same process, and move all the layers 3 frames forward. I will fast forward this steps, to save your time. After moving all the layers, if we preview it, we will get this cool animation. 
Come to around 5 seconds 10 frames. Select all this layers. And trim this extra part from all this layers. Then select this first text layer, click on this layer icon, and copy this layer. Now we will close this element, and create a new project. I am calling it Final Text Comp, but you can call it anything. Here I am using the same settings. Now click on plus icon, go to element, and import the text animation comp which we have created. Then go few frames forward. Go to effects. Add effect, and search for channel remap. Apply standard settings, and here you will get this four color options. Now for this layer, we will change green and blue value to zero. Then we will go to blending and opacity, and here change the blending mode to screen. Also make a duplicate layer. Then select this below layer, again go to effects, open channel remap, and here change red value to zero, and green value to green. Come back, and make one more duplicate layer. Select this below layer, again go to effects, open channel remap, and for this layer change green value to zero, and blue value to blue. Now go back, and move this second and third layer one frame forward, like this. Also, click on this layer icon, and paste the layer which we copied before. Then select the layer, go to border and shadow. Here enable shadow option. Change size to 100, and change X and Y position value to 0. Now add a rectangle shape. Click on this three dots, and select stretch to composition area, to make it full screen. I will rename this layer to adjustment layer. Then we will go to effects, add effect, and search for copy background. Apply standard settings. Now we will add one more effect. Here search for lens blur. Apply standard settings. Then go few frames forward. Open this effect. And here change the strength value to 100. And change the radius to around 0.295. Then go back and increase this adjustment layer duration, to 5 seconds 10 frames. Also select this two layers, and trim this extra part. Our animation is ready now, so let's export this animation, and preview it. and we will get this cool looking animation. And the best thing of this animation is, you can change this text whenever you want. Let me show you. Close this final text comp. Go to element. Here first open this text comp which we have created. And here write your text whatever you want. Then close this comp and open text animation comp which we have created. And here you will get this update option, click on it. Then close this comp, go to project, and open final text comp, and here also you get this update option, click on it. And your all text layers get updated automatically. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and press that bell icon, so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you in my next video, Till then peace out.